This is part four and hopefully the last part of the series of videos demonstrating how to pair the Jetty radio wirelessly with the next simulator in the computer using the RCWare RX2 SIM USB interface. On the um, uh, part one, we discussed how to set up the radio. On part two, we discussed how to update the firmware of the RX2 SIM. On part three, we discuss how to set up the RX2 SIM to be the mode with a purple light and a solid blue light with a PPM. And now in this part four, we're finally going to discuss how to make the radio talk to the uh, next simulator. So, uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start the next simulator. So let's uh, start that, all right? And I'm using a Mac computer, but you know, Windows works the same way. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is connect the RX to SIM to the computer, all right? So again, you know, we have the purple mode light and the solid blue light on PPM, all right? So, we, so we're good there. Now we need to uh, make sure that the transmitter and the the next uh, simulator are talking the same language, all right? So they're uh, calibrated. So I'm going to press H, okay? So H, and this is going to bring up a, a bunch of menus here uh, with the tabs. So I am going to choose this tab. It's called Input Device. Okay, so I press the Input Device. And this gives me four options for devices, which are called set one, set two, set three, and set four. I already have set one, two, and four committed. So we are going to use set three for the purposes of this, uh, the purposes of this video. So set three. Here it says calibrate the input device. That's exactly what we're going to do. So press calibrate. This point, um, it gives us the option to start the calibration. So we're going to start the calibration. The options are joypad or transmitter. We're going to choose transmitter. And here it says center all sticks and trims, then press next. So how do we know what, what is the best way to center the sticks? There are several ways. The way I like to do it is to press menu, go down to the heli tuning, Go down to the throttle curves. This is not the only way, but this is the way I like to do it. And then here, uh, there's a slider, see that moves? So if I go up with the stick, the slider moves to the right. If I go down on the stick, the slider is going to move to the left, right? And I want it right at the center, all right? So right at the center. Right there, so I'm pretty happy that this uh, this sticks uh, this right stick is always going to be right at the center, but the uh, left stick right now we know is in the center. So here it says to press next. So that's exactly what we're we're going to do next. Now here just follow the prompt for the sticks. It says you know uh, a stick goes up, so bring it up and press next. Now once it's stick down, so we bring it down and then press next. They want to stick to the right, press next. Stick to the left, press next. Now for the right stick, they want it to the right. We press next, stick to the left, press next. Stick up, press next. Stick down, press next. And we are finished with the sticks. So in the next step, is that we are we want to deal with the switches now? All right, so we did we dealt with the with the two gim with the two gimbals. Now we need to deal with the the switches. So now from we go from model to functions. And under functions, as you can see, all the buttons uh, this column that says buttons is grayed out, so nothing to do there. For the column that says switch, it's also grayed out, so nothing to do there. The only options here are to deal with the sliders and deal with resets. So we reset when we uh, screw up, okay? 
So actually, I'm, uh, I already had this um, calibrated, so I am going to reset everything. So this is exactly what you would see. This column here would be completely blank, and we just deal with the sliders. So here, let's start with our flight modes. Our flight modes are called con flight condition 1, flight condition 2, flight condition 3, and flight condition 4. Our fifth flight condition is actually auto rotation. That's the actual that's an actual flight condition, otherwise known as flight mode. And we actually call this uh, on the step, uh, on the part one of the video, we actually called flight condition one, we called it idle one, flight condition two, idle two, flight condition three, idle three, and flight condition four, idle four. Uh, the easiest one to start with, I think, is to start with auto rotation. So this is my auto rotation switch. Three. When it's back, it's not engaged, but when it's forward, it'll say auto rotation, or in this case, um, I think auto rotation. Auto rotation. So let's bring the switch back. Idle three. Let's click on the slider that says auto rotation. Bring the switch auto rotation forward. Auto rotation. And press next. And as you can see, it's saved. Now let's work on our flight conditions one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to bring this back. Idle three. Uh, let's work on idle up four. We said that when this switch is up, it'll be idle four. Idle four. Okay. So let's bring it back down. Idle three. Let's press slider for flight condition four or idle four. Bring the switch up. Idle four. Press next. All right. So we're done with that. And it, you know, see how, how it took it. Now we're going to bring this down. Idle three. And remember, this is our idle three, idle two, idle two, idle one, and idle one. So, idle two. So let's work with idle one first. So slider. Maybe we press the slider, bring this down to idle one, idle one, and press next. And it took it. So now let's work with con flight condition two, which is idle two. Bring this up. Idle two. And press next. And it worked. Let's go for idle up three, which is flight condition three. So we go with the slider, bring the switch up. Idle three. And next. All right, so now we have all of our flight conditions uh, set up. So now we still need to work with our restart, landing gear, and self level. So the self level, uh, we talked in the video num or part one that it was going to be this switch. When it's forward, it'll be the self level, which I call rescue. Rescue mode. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're gonna press, uh, for the self level, I'm going to press slider. I'm going to engage the rescue. Rescue mode. And I'm going to keep it pressed forward, okay? I'm not gonna let go of it. It's very, very important to just keep it uh, pressed and press next and see how it took it. Now, uh, let's do restart. I decided that this was going to be my restart button in the part one of the series. So let's do slider, press restart. the button, keep it pressed, okay? Don't let go of it, and press next. Boom, done. Now for landing gear, I decided that this was going to be my landing gear. When the switch is up, the landing gear is uh, retracted, so ready to fly. When the switch is down, is ready to land. Landing gear ready for landing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the switch down. I'm going to go under landing gear. I'll press slider. Switch goes up. Landing gear ready for fly. And I'm going to press next. See, and it took it. So. Landing gear ready for landing. Okay. Landing gear ready for fly. Okay. So we we're actually finished. Believe it or not, it's finished. Uh, we can you know close all of this. And let's see if it if it actually worked. All right. So um. So we when we go up, see the helicopter goes up. When it goes down, down. Uh, let's do the uh, a right turn. Okay. Let's do the left. And let's see. Let's uh do auto rotation. Auto rotation. Okay. So auto rotates. Oop. I'm great. And let's see. Actually, let's see the self level if it actually works. Okay. So let's uh start flying. 
All right, and let's uh, bring it sideways, auto rotation, see, and it, uh, and it self levels, all right? And self levels, all right, see that? Pretty cool, and you know what? I want to restart, so let's see, I press restart, this button, Restart. and it went back to restart, so everything is working like it's supposed to. So I hope this helped. Um, thank you very much for watching and best of luck.